So the Levolution in Dragon's Teeth seems pretty cool. It is a shame we don't have large scale Levolution in every single map, but the maps we do have it on, it does seem very impressive. Especially that mudslide on Lufini Gardens. It's probably the most game changing Levolution we've seen in any map on Battlefield 4 so far. Not only does it change the landscape on the entire map, it probably kills about half the players in the server all in one go. I do sometimes think some of the Levolutions in the game do seem a little bit pointless. Of course, the idea of Levolution is to evolve the level and change the map. And some of the ones we see just seem a bit of a fad and they don't really evolve any of the gameplay or the layout of the map itself. So the one on Lufini Gardens, which really does change the landscape and change the way the map is played, is pretty cool to see. But today, I don't want to talk to you guys about Levolution. I want to talk about Easter eggs. Now, with the most recent DLCs for Battlefield 4, it seems we've had more and more Easter eggs to find, with the biggest of which so far, of course, being the Megalodon. Now, all of that searching begun on Paracel's Storm, looking for a prehistoric monster under the waves. And all of that came because of hints we'd seen in Battlefield Friends and other tips and suggestions we'd seen elsewhere. Now, of course, we all know that came to no avail, and the monster ended up being found on the maps on Naval Strike. Well, now we have reason to believe there could still be something we've missed lurking under the waves on Paracel Storm. Well, what makes you think this, I hear you ask? Well, late last night on Lachlan Carter's stream, a YouTube friend of mine, I will leave a link to his channel down in the description below, he and some friends were searching around for Easter eggs on the new Dragon's Teeth DLC. And during his stream, a user by the name of Absinicity found the little Easter egg on the map Lufini Gardens, which could lead us to believe there's definitely more to be found on Paracel Storm. So to find the easter egg, if you do join a game of conquest on Lufini Gardens, you head across towards the D flag, and if you're in the water on the bend of the river with the bridge to your right, if you dive under the water, you will see some inscriptions on the wall. So as you can see, on the left hand side, we have a very rough map of Paracel Storm. I will compare it there to the real map on the game. And on the right hand side, we have some Chinese writing. Now again, this writing was translated by somebody in Lackland's stream, so I have to thank him and give recognition to those guys. It was very cool of Lackland this morning to talk me through all of this information. But that writing on the right hand side has been roughly translated to say, the monster is real, the strange beast is real. So as you can see, one of the smallest, but probably one of the most interesting Easter eggs to be found in Dragon's Teeth so far. Now I wouldn't put it past DICE to have, in one of the latest patches, actually put a new Easter egg into Paracel Storm. There is no way I believe that Easter egg has been there since day one. It's probably been since they saw the reaction and the hype of the Megalodon, how many views those videos got, how many more players came back to the game just to try and see that for themselves. I would not put it past DICE in the latest patch to have probably put a brand new huge Easter egg back into the Paracel Storm map. So it looks like the search for the elusive monster on Paracel Storm is probably back on. If you guys want to keep up with the searching, I will put a link to Lachlan Cotter's stream in the description below. The last couple of nights he has been streaming looking for Easter eggs. But I want to ask you guys what your opinion on these Easter eggs is. Do you think it's a waste of time, just a distraction, a little bit of a PR stunt from DICE to try and bring players back to the game, take the focus away from sometimes how imperfect this game definitely is? Do you think DICE could be spending their time on better things like actually fixing the game, designing better maps, better levolutions, rather than spending a hell of a lot of time designing these very small intricate Easter eggs that seem to be the focus of their time? For me personally, I kind of see both sides of the argument. I do see how it has a positive effect on the community. It brings a lot of people together searching for these different things. It adds a new aspect to the game. It does sort of add some longevity to the game. If you get bored of fighting on the maps, you can always go around searching for these cool Easter eggs. But at the same time, I do see how it can be frustrating that a lot of time is spent making these things when the game itself is still so fundamentally flawed. But either way, I want to hear from you guys down in the comments below. What are your thoughts and opinions? And of course, if you did enjoy this short video, don't forget to hit like. It massively helped me out and I really do appreciate it. But in the meantime, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Yeah.